agenda item number three, which is a conditional use request by Crown Development, <clears throat> file number CU 202304. Comments from staff. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a conditional use or CUP request from Crown Development for property located at 806 Bay Tree Road. It is a conditional use request for a car wash or a full service car wash facility in both the CC Zoning District as well as the Bay Tree University Corridor Overlay District. Um, car washes require CUP in both, so we have advertised and processed them together under one application. Um, zoning pattern, as you see, is a lot of CC zoning and a few other zoning districts along Bay Tree. Um, particularly westward from here, you see more of a commercial pattern. Um, overlay district map is also in your packet, and that is really just as it describes the corridor properties facing Bay Tree Road is subject to the rules of the overlay, um, which is mainly architecture standards and some site development standards. Um, character areas, neighborhood activity center, which is all up and down this portion of Bay Tree Road. Aerial imagery, subject property is currently vacant. Um, and then there's a mixed pattern around. You see some residential uses. That's an apartment complex immediately to the west, um, two single family homes to the north, um, three single family homes across the street to the east. Um, and on the south side, it's a mixed pattern, but most notably an existing car wash immediately south across Bay Tree Road. Um, subject property um, also has a survey that's there in your packet and some photographs of the property in the area. This is looking westward across the front yard of the vacant lot toward those existing apartments on the west side. This is looking northward into the interior of the property. The view along Bay Tree Road as you look westward out toward Bremerton and the mall. The car wash that's directly across the street. And then looking back toward the east, this is back toward some other apartments and in the general direction of the BSU campus. Um, directly east, you have single-family homes across the street. Um, there's an apartment complex to the northeast that's in the back that's relatively new. And then the view looking up Miramar Street, and then the single-family homes immediately north of the property. Also in your packet is a conceptual site plan showing the drive-through car wash facility. I think that's 17 vacuum bays um, there in the middle of the property, one by traffic flow with the kiosk on the north end and the exiting out on the south end. Um, applicants did a good job of having just the one driveway access off of Miramar, um, trying to reduce the number of curb cuts on Bay Tree itself. Um, in your packet is some of the proposed renderings from the applicant. This is their view from Bay Tree Road, looking toward the northwest. You see the vacuums in the front and then the car wash building behind it. Um, sort of a Mediterranean style architecture, which is good for the overlay district. And then a more direct view of the elevations from Bay Tree, and then also from Miramar. Um, in your packet description is some of the history. Uh, most notably, if you look at the zoning pattern, it's CC, but it's not always been that way. In 2014, the property <coughs> was zoned R10. There was a house on there that I think was demolished in 2013. Uh, the owner of the property at that time um, had the house demolished, rezoned it to CC uh, for speculative commercial development. Their conceptual site plan is in your packet from that time, but nothing ever materialized with that development. The current applicant purchased the property a few months ago, um, and of course it's already got the commercial zoning. They just have a proposed car wash in line, which requires the CEP. Staff's main concerns with the request is car washes, um, at least the full service kind, are a little further up the food chain in the realm of commercial uses, which is why it's a conditional use in CC. It's a permitted use in CH. Um, so there's that concern. And then with this particular case, on three sides you have residential uses, even though one of them is in commercial zoning on the west side. And then across the street you have an existing car wash, but more of a commercial pattern there. So because of the slightly higher intensity of the commercial use being proposed, um, residential use is on three sides. Um, staff has found the request inconsistent with the comprehensive plan, inconsistent with the conditional use review criteria, all that's described there in your packet, and they are recommending denial of the request. 
applicants are here. Uh, I'd be glad to answer any questions you might have for me. Thank you, Matt. Good question, Matt. When was the existing car wash open? That was a zoning case, I want to say about the year 2001. And that's going by memory. And it was CC at that time? It had to be rezoned to CC. It was probably R10 beforehand. And then they and got it was the, built in. I vaguely remember that zoning case. And then and it they was got some, CEP from there. Okay. Well, no, there was no CEP required then. That predates the overlay district. Oh, I got you. So by a number of years, um, about nine years. Um, so it's been there 20 plus years. Okay. Any further questions? <clears throat> All right, with that, we will start the public hearing portion of the case. Is there anyone that would like to speak in favor of this project? Yes. Please step forward and state your name and address. Um, my name is Stephen Chicola. I'm at 1210 Clover Hill Road here in Valdosta, Georgia. Uh, I am speaking on behalf of Crown Real Estate Development as part of the group that will be um, initially developing this car wash, this proposed site. Uh, to kind of reiterate what we're actually proposing, it is, it is quite different than the car wash that is across the street that was originally um, rezoned back in the day. Um, we are not a mobile car wash, we are an express exterior car wash. Uh, so our average car wash time is roughly anywhere from two to six minutes, typically about four. Um, so our goal is to get our customer base in and out um, on a quick, um, you know, quick basis. Uh, this will be a high-tech, modern, you know, new-age car wash. Um, you know, we're not going to bear any expense when it comes to the, uh, the inside equipment. Uh, I know there has been some issues in terms of uh, the noise issues for the res surrounding residential uh, areas, and we have taken that into consideration into our uh, conceptual plans, obviously providing like, the proper landscape buffer um, with you know the ten by six, um, you know opaque fence, as well as some some evergreens or whatever that may be to help um, continue that buffer. Um, I understand there is a little bit of some inconsistencies in our initial conceptual plan, which again is a conceptual plan just to kind of get the ball rolling. Uh, we have no issues with um, redesigning or making any reductions to our tunnel size or vacuum spaces to help reduce and minimize that. Uh, initial noise or complaint or light or whatever that may, may be for those residents. Um, our biggest thing is trying to, you know, utilize this this piece of property to help grow and get this Bay Tree uh, overlay district to where I believe it's been um, put in place to, is to make kind of a uniformed, you know, architectural design. Uh, we have taken a lot of our inspiration on our architectural design from the campus. Uh, I believe VSU's got beautiful uh, architectural buildings. Uh, as you can see in some of our renderings, you know, we're going to use some of that terracotta roofing, uh, similar color schemes, and some really similar architectural features that you see throughout the campus. Uh, so again, our goal is to pr provide a new modern car wash experience, um, also provide uh, a building that will last the test of time and, and really um, not stand out as a car wash, but more of a, of a beautiful architectural building along that. Overlay district. So uh, again, um, we, we have taken into consideration, um, you know, the noise reduction. Um, there's opportunities for us to put silencers on our equipment, um, whatever the case may be. Um, but again, our our hope is to get you guys on board um, so that we can, you know, you know, move forward with this development and, and see something good going to the city. Of Just a comment. Um, I do like what you're trying to do, fitting in um, with the architecture. Mm -hmm. So kudos there. I, I really like the way it looks. Appreciate it. We're obviously pulling the Blazer Bay from you know from the university's um, yeah. you know mascot. You know, so we're going to have some school spirit involved in that, and hopefully have some time to partner with the, kind of the campus to do some cool things you know, for the community. So. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks, Dan, Good, thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to speak in favor of this project? <coughs> Having no one further, I would like to.
like to open it up to people that would like to speak against the, this project on Bay Tree Road. Having none, <clears throat> we'll move on to our next phase. Yes. <laughs> So um, I, I have to say that um, I know staff is recommending denial, but honestly, this is where Bay Tree is going. It's going more commercial, and I think that it fits in nicely with the architecture. Um, it's kind of hard to deny, even I, I know the circumstances, but it's kind of hard to deny a car wash when there's one directly across the street. So. Um, and there's another one down the road. Yeah, yeah. there is there's another one. Service car right. yeah. Any other comments? All right. Well, I will entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Um, item, agenda yeah. item number CU 2023 04. I actually recommend approval of this um, project. Do we have a second? Awesome. All in favor? Yes. Quick question, Mr. Chairman, just in case, are there any recommended conditions of approval? Um, usually there's some with the condition of use permit. Um, usually the minimum is an expiration date, and the uh, fall yes. usually go two years out. Okay, and, and I'm happy to add that with um, the uh, expiration two years from today's date. Sure. If no permit is pulled, then they would. Right, then it lose their conditional they would lose that, right, that conditional use request. And then we should also add the uh, conditions that uh, the recommended noise reduction measures be taken as part of this approval. Well, I thought about that, and I also thought about, um, he had mentioned they were going to be doing some opaque fencing and things like that. Um, is there some general language concerning that, Matt? There is. There are some requirements anyway, okay. as you look at the site plan. Right. Um, buffer yards are required when you have two different zoning districts next to each other. Yes. In this case, it would only be the north property line as a okay. full buffer yard. So that's um, required anyway. It's required, and because they need some extra space in there that they don't have. Okay. Uh, without a fence, it would have to be 20 feet wide. They don't have 20 feet. So I really think their scenario would be a 10-foot buffer yard with a 6-foot opaque fence. Okay. That's a common scenario. Um, there is no buffer yard or fencing required okay. on the west side, but you did see in the rendering they're showing a low wall there. Mm -hmm. um, I guess they're probably going to want something for security. There is perimeter landscaping required in the development code, um, which for a property of this size, I think it's 3 feet on that western boundary. But the street yards are going to have to be 10 foot wide landscape strips anyway. Okay. Um, just not a buffer yard, but it okay. is landscaping. So all of that is built into the language anyway. Correct. So really what we would just need to do is make sure that there is an expiration on this particular request. Um, and then I think, Chip, the rest of that would be covered under the... Could state. I have specific verbiage? Uh -huh. I'll read it. Is it. there anything else that you think uh -huh. we need to add? Well, I, based on the information that's been shared, um, does the um, opaque fence really provide any type of uh, audible uh, noise buffer? It's, it's a probably not. I'm standing as a probably not. It's not high enough, um, and it doesn't have to be a solid wall. It could be a wooden fence, but, um, but it's just it's you put a solid six foot fence opaque fence in lieu of an additional 10 feet of buffer yard width. Okay. So either 20 feet wide with optional fence or not, or 10 feet wide with a mandatory fence. Okay. So Which I think he said they were already leaning toward that. Yeah. But, but the, the additional request to add the uh, noise to the baffles, basically with the noise buffers, to be able to facilitate the fact that since this is at this point in time, in the middle of a residential neighborhood, mm -hmm. a residential community, you know, um, I, I don't know, was this a 24-hour facility? Is this, how, the I, I didn't get any information. Right. The, they're proposing hours of 8 to 8. Okay. So, um, and there's no requirement in the code, uh, even for supplemental standards for car washes, they could be 24-hour. Right. So, so, you know, the, the, I think the recommendation for the noise 
reduction aspect of it is a valid one. Um, yeah, what, I was, what I was referring to was the applicant's mentioned about um, silencers on some of the equipment if necessary. Right. And you've got some information about that yeah, in the packet supplied by the applicant. Um, I think if you wanted to include that as a condition, you can refer to it generally, that there be noise reduction measures in their equipment. Um, and we can let the engineers chew out the details on that. Um, and, and it's not just the car wash, but also the vacuums. Okay. I'm happy to And we have information from them that gives some details about what that might look like. So okay. that might be enough. So, Mr. Chairman, I'll restate. Mm -hmm. I recommend uh, we approve CU 2023-04 with two recommendations or two conditions. The first, that there be a two-year expiration date, um, and if they have not proceeded um, to um, build out at that time, that this CUP will expire. And the second, that they make any and all attempts at noise reduction on the blowers and the dryers. Perfect. We have a second. All in favor? It's three two. Well, you need to motion. Yeah, in case they are abstaining for whatever reason. So. I'm sorry. In case they are abstaining, you have to uh, ask if they're you know. All against. I'm sorry. <laughs> this y'all have to bear with me. This is my first night. You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> so that's three two. Okay, three two. Good job, Steve.